just a there quick whisk. Yeah, that looks great. Yeah, and we're going to toss it. So easy, and this will keep in the refrigerator for about two days, too. Okay, that looks really good. So it, it, you, can, you can keep it in there for two days. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's amazing. Wow. And it just gets that better because so the good. flavors yeah. really blend and marry. Mm. Okay. That's the kind of stuff I like to eat the next day. Yeah. Even more. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And to finish this off, all we're okay. going to do is we're going to toast some sesame seeds. This is some white and some black sesame seeds. Okay. We eat with our eyes first. So if yeah. you make everything have a rainbow of colors, you know that you're pretty much getting a balance of good nutrition, and we're excited about eating it. You know, no right. one wants to eat something that's brown and dead. So we're going to just toast these a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> So we just do this on a high heat? Yeah. Can we get, uh, which one of these will be going? Yeah, let's see here. Um, so now, are these recipes that you've thought up yourself? No, all of these recipes are available on the Cancer Project website, which is www.cancerproject.org. Right. Um, the head of the Cancer Project is Dr. Neil Barnard, and he's also written several books about the correlation between diet and disease. Oh, and I really encourage people to think of diet not as a weight loss. Diet should right. be your way of life. And when you eat healthy, weight loss is always a happy byproduct. People who take the classes here right. in the South Bay, they always report, if they take my plant-based challenge, they usually report about a one pound uh, a week weight loss, which wow. is 52 pounds that's a year. That's huge. Right, and, it, and you keep it off that way. Yeah, that's huge. Okay. So we just want these to just snap, crackle, and pop a little bit. Okay. While we're doing that, we'll take a look mm. at our stew. Oh my and just gosh, give a quick... you should smell this. Yeah, and it's really nice. Oh. You can use this, um, wow. you could top couscous with it, you could have it oh. over brown rice, you could have it mm. over pasta, you could top baked potatoes with it. And like so, I said, it freezes really well. Now, just to ask you, we don't need any more liquid. You want nope. it to be thick? I want it to be thick. This is a hearty stew. Okay, so we want yeah. it to be thick. But if you wanted it to be like a soup, you could add a little more vegetable broth or water. Okay. And that would work. This looks good, though. Yeah. Okay. Hearty stew. We like hearty. Yeah, absolutely. Very neat. So, again, we're just toasting these a little bit. And I like to do the peanuts in there, too. Right. They're just dry roasted peanuts. Uh, if you are allergic to peanuts, leave them out. Yeah. If you love almonds and, or cashews put and them in. put them in. There you go. Okay. Wow. And it's just nice to have something warm in that contrast. So you've been cooking cool. this way for a long time, right? Yeah, I've been, uh, I was a vegetarian for several years. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely times I fell off the wagon, like when I lived in New York, I just wanted to eat everything. But I always kind of came back to this way of cooking because it's, it's best for you. And since I've been with the Cancer Project, um, I have been plant-based. Really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Wow. Kay. Well, you're very fit, so we, if we all did this, we'd be very fit. Yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. Oh, it and smells just so good. Ourselves. You can really smell the nut and the mm -hmm. freshness of the cabbage together. Isn't that nice? It's really nice. All right, how about some dessert? Oh, well, heck yeah. Yeah, let's okay. Go, let's go for it. All right. So what we're doing, the reason that I had this pot going is we're going to create a double boiler so we can melt our chocolate. Okay. You could do this in the microwave too, um, but I want to show people how. That's such an easy way to do yeah. that. Yeah. So can go ahead. Can we grab these mm -hmm. for you? Okay. Actually, I'm going to move this over here. Can you go ahead and put these yeah. in? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what is this about? That's one bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. You I don't like want to lose, use melt chocolate chips because they have dairy. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for a vegan version. Okay. Of chips. You could also use the uh, chocolate squares if you had a great uh, Dutch processed cocoa and you wanted to sweeten it up oh, yourself. I see. Okay. You can really, those are the little tricks where you can get the calories and right. the fat a lot lower. Um, this mm -hmm. is. Oh, is that tofu? Yeah, this is tofu. So normal cool. chocolate mousse would be right. packed with heavy cream mm -hmm. and about three or four eggs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half of the tofu. This is silken tofu, okay. not the water-packed one that we normally see. And as you can see, I didn't break this up. I just took it out of the package. And it's much uh, softer, obviously. Okay. So it's not something you would want to use for stir fries, uh, but it's great for desserts, gravies, smoothies, sauces, anytime oh, you wow. want something a little okay. thicker. Okay, so I'm going to take half of the tofu first. And this has a lot of protein in it. Tofu is high in protein, calcium, and there's studies that show that soy can actually reduce your risk of some cancers. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. That's incredible. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and puree this a little bit. And get okay. half of it nice and smooth. If you want to go ahead and pass me that chocolate soy milk, 
Uh, we're chocolate using soy milk. Mm -hmm. How cool. Yeah, and you could use uh, any type of plant-based milk. Add that right in. So what's another plant-based milk? Oh my goodness, there's so rice. many plants. There's rice, rice. there's soy. almond, there's oh, hemp, almond there's milk. hazelnut, there's oh. oat milk. So for people who've tried wow. soy milk and they thought that was their only option if yeah. they didn't want dairy, there's so many. Come to our classes. You can try it on someone else's dime oh and someone gosh. else's time. There you go. Okay. Um, all we're going to do after we get that little bit of uh, the half of tofu incorporated, so it's nice and smooth. So now it's looking pretty chocolatey. <gasps> oh, look at this. Our chocolate's already starting to melt and get shiny. Wow. That looks so yummy. Yeah. Tasty. That looks so good. So these are these are unsweetened, semi-sweet. They're semi-sweet. Mm -hmm. If you like bittersweet, you could absolutely use that. Um, the other thing that you could do, if you um, want to make this a little bit sweeter, is to the tofu mixture you could add one really ripe banana because chocolates and bananas mm. are a great combination. So you just add a, a ripe banana mm -hmm. and just yep, and go then ahead and puree, puree that. that. First. Wow. Yeah. All right, this is ready to go. Oh, that's interesting. So we can turn okay. that off. And wow. we're just going to add that yeah, to the... Yeah, straight in. Wow, that looks so easy. It is. Easy. It looks tasty. Wow. And then are we going to add any more soy milk? Or? We're going to um, go ahead and temper the chocolate. So get that nice and incorporated. Mm. <clears throat> wow, that looks great. And then we'll add the next half of the tofu. Oh, oh I know, <laughs> when I'm at class, it's always a battle, even with adults, who gets to lick the bowl? Oh, I know. I, I would, yeah. I would fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last thing, we have a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. This is an alcohol-free vanilla, so it's a little bit thicker, if you notice. Huh. Okay. And um, we're going to taste this first, because this is agave nectar. Um, which I is love the agave nectar. Yeah. I do use that. Good. Agave nectar, you could also use stevia, and they would mm -hmm. all have lower glycemic loads. So actually a diabetic could use those. Could, yeah, use both of those and uh, enjoy something sweet. Right. Wow, this is really good. Tasty. You think I should check our stew? Yeah, we should okay. definitely take a look at that. All righty. I'll check the stew, see how that's going. We can actually turn this one off now. Okay. And we're going to just fish out those bay leaves. Mm, yeah. You don't want to crunch on a bay nope. leaf. Oh, that's easy. You can smell. It's just so rich. I mean, the richness of this, even though, you know, you think, okay, vegetarian type dish. Mm -hmm. It looks great. It smells wonderful. Wow. Now, would you serve anything else with this, like a bread, or that's, like I said, is that you a no-no? Oh, absolutely. No, that's the great thing about a plant-based diet. Carbs are our friends. We need carbs. Okay. But it's just we want to have carbs that are high in fiber. Okay. So um, not empty calories. So that was our lentil artichoke oh stew. Put a little of our Asian slaw. Looks wonderful. And then to plate the chocolate mousse, if you want to go ahead and head me the uh, wine glass there. Oh, I was thinking, what's she going to put in? <laughs> oh, it's going to be really special. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how you can impress your friends with a couple of berries and some I, mint leaves. Isn't it? it is so true. Just something really simple. Um, when you make this at home, you would probably want to chill it for about an hour once you get it in the glass, just so that it'll firm up a little bit. Mm, but you can't wait so that long, right? <laughs> no, are you crazy? And then what I'm going to do, if you hand me that canister right there, mm -hmm. this is a soy whip topping. Okay. So even on our plant-based diet, we can have all those delicious soy yummy whip mm -hmm. toppings. Look at that. Wow. And how oh about a strawberry? Gosh. You didn't waste any of that. You, you <laughs> like fill the glass oh, full, Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, we'll put wow. our berry in there and a mint leaf. Oh, you're making this really fancy. But it's funny because it, it's really not that complicated. No! You know? I mean, look, we just did three courses. Oops. I know. This is easy, and I've got to try this. 